Hey guys, this is Kevin at ChristianPhotoshops.com and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to create this picture right here. Now, we created this picture recently and it is loosely based on the Bible verse um, Proverbs 6.27 and that verse says, Can a man take fire next to his chest and his clothes not be burned? And so the, the verse is talking about um, essentially playing with fire, playing with um, the fire of lust and being tempted by lust. And the Bible says if you're going to play with fire, you're going to get burned. So this picture is kind of based on that idea that the man in this picture is playing on the laptop. He's playing with temptation, playing with lust, and he doesn't even see that the fire is engulfing the laptop. So the Bible tells us that if you play with fire, you're going to get burned, and this picture is trying to represent that. So it's a very surreal type of picture. It looks like it may have taken a long time in Photoshop to, to create this, but in reality, most of the work that was required for this project was on the photography part and not so much on the Photoshop part. So both are important. Um, I do want to show you how we did it um, in camera and then after we got the in camera part we brought it in the Photoshop and I want to show you both phases of that so to create this picture we have a laptop it's just an old um, laptop that died it's several years old we have no use for it anymore so we decided to create a use for it and what better use for an old dead laptop than to set it on fire and take pictures of it. So that's what this prop is. It's just, it is a real laptop, um, but it's old, dead, and useless to us. And then it's set on a, a desk, but not a real desk. It's just several pieces of um, wood nailed together. We didn't want to use um, a real piece of furniture because it might get damaged, but this is just a few pieces of board to work as a makeshift desk. And then um, obviously the model and, and the fire. So those are the main things necessary for this picture. Now let me show you the light setup for this um, when we took the picture. This is the original picture before we started setting things on fire and here's the light setup. You can see on the left side of the frame there's a blue um, kind of a rim light um, on the back of me, the back of my head, back of my arms and everything. And the way we got that is we had a rim light back here it's just a your fifteen dollar um, rim light from or can light from Lowe's. Um, just got a regular fluorescent bulb in it, and then we put some blue gel on the outside of it. And so it's just off the camera, shining on the back of me, and uh, that's what creates this nice blue rim light on um, the back side of me. Now to get the front side of me lit, we had a video light right here resting on top of the keyboard and here's a picture here's the back side of the picture you can see the the blue on the my back side and then actually on the laptop we had a orange um, video light it was just a regular video light with the orange gel over top of it and that's all shining directly straight up at my face and then my wife is here just off camera, or she's technically on camera here, and she's got another video light with orange on, and it's um, going this direction, which is getting the back side of the laptop and also the desk right here. So you can see from the original picture, here's the video light down here on the keyboard. It's hitting my face. Um, it's lighting me up. And then the other video light over here it's hitting the back of the laptop and it's hitting around the desk. And the reason we have both of them, um, obviously we're going to set the laptop on fire. So there's going to be a huge light source all over here. And it's going to be red and yellow. So that's why we have kind of an orange, um, we have the orange gel light. And so when the laptop is on fire, that's our light source. And so the light is going to hit my face, obviously. Um, and it's going to hit the desk and it's going to hit on the back of the laptop. It's going to hit everywhere. So that's why we have two video lights going right here. Um, but this that's our main setup right here. This is We put the camera on a tripod and uh, we got everything the way we wanted it to look. And we took several pictures and picked our favorite one. And uh, then once we had everything the way we wanted it, 
then we actually set the laptop on fire. And how we did that is we just got um, we got some lighter fluid from the store, and then we drenched the entire laptop in lighter fluid. So we put um, lighter fluid down in the key the the keyboard part, just kind of flooded that area right there, and then we drenched some on the screen, and then we put some under the laptop, and then we actually put some on the desk near, not too much on the desk, but just a little bit near the desk, and then we also put some on the back of the laptop. So once we drenched the entire laptop with lighter fluid, that's when we um, set it on fire, and Obviously, I got the model out of the way. I got myself out of the way, and we lit it on fire, and our camera was taking pictures at the exact same angle, and we just took lots of pictures because sometimes the the, fly, the fire was nice and pretty and dancing, and then sometimes it was, you know, really big, and um, just we got a lot of great pictures of the laptop on fire. And the most important part was that we took it at the exact same angle, um, as our original picture. So it was on a tripod, all the, the focus was the same, the settings were the same, everything was the same um, when we took pictures of the fire and when we took pictures at the beginning. So now, once we have everything done on the photography part, now we can do the Photoshop part. So here's our base image, this is what we're going to work with, and then all you have to do is just pick your favorite fire image, um, let's, let's just say this one right here, and then you bring it to this picture and they're already lined up perfectly so you just have two layers on top of each other then all you have to do is change your blend mode to screen and automatically the fire lines up over top of the laptop perfectly so when you do the screen mode it's just going to take all these these light colors uh, the black will not go through but all the lights will go through and so the fire is overlaid on top of the picture so really that's all is necessary to create this picture once you have the two pictures taken. Um, you can um, stack multiple fire pictures if you wanted to. If you want to take this picture as well um, of the fire and then you put this on top and then you do that one to screen as well. Obviously it's going to be really bright because now you have two fire images. Um, so you could do two pictures of fire or you could just do one or you could do the other one. It's all up to your taste at this point, but all of your pictures of the fire, assuming that your lap, your uh, tripod never moved, um, you can just pick out your favorite one and then just overlay it. So that's pretty much all you had to do to create this picture. It's very simple in Photoshop, assuming you got all of the photography part right. Um, one quick thing I did want to change, um, the light on my face is very... Um, we did use an orange gel, so there's a little bit of orange tint to it, but it's not quite as orange as this fire would be. I, I should be a lot more red in reality. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint just some red on my face and change that blend mode to overlay and then turn that down just a little bit and then maybe put a little bit of orangish yellowish colors up here too. Change that to overlay and then bring down that down just a little bit. So, just adding a little bit more glow to the picture um, that the, the video lights couldn't get. And then, if you want to add other elements too, like I took a picture of a fireplace um, with a bunch of embers going everywhere. So, I just took that and then I added that to the very top of the picture and changed it to screen. And then I just moved those embers around and uh, maybe put them. Let's see here. Put them where the hands are and the keyboards are, so it kind of looks like the computer's like sort of exploding and the fire's just going everywhere. But really, that's all you have to do. So, um, if you want to do this picture, obviously you need to be careful. Um, Photoshop is wonderful. You do not have to set yourself on fire. You can take pictures of fire um, and then take pictures of a model and blend them together. But just be careful if you do this. But I'm looking forward to your creations and your creativity. So. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, we got a lot more in the future, so check back soon. And if you have any questions, just let me know. But thanks again and have a great day.